Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to use steppers in Flutter. Here, we'll be adding three steps like shown in this demo, and each step will have a text. It doesn't have any widget there. To keep it simple, I'm just adding a simple text on each step. Each step will have a continue button and a cancel button. Continue will take the user to the next step, and cancel will send back to the previous step. By default, the icons on each step will be numbered, but we can use other icons as well. So, let's code now. So, as usual, I'll be starting with an empty template. First, we are going to declare a variable current step, which is initialized to 0, and we are going to need a list of steps. So, for uh, each uh, step will be a step widget, which will take it either. So, I am adding a text, step 1, and the content can be any widget. Right now, I am adding just a text. So, I am setting the each active to true. I'm copying that and duplicating, duplicating it two times. Second one is a step 2. And text will be world, and third one is step three. The text is hello world. All right. Okay. Now we can change the icon of the third step. I'm changing it to complete. Okay. Now let's add a stepper to the UI. So stepper. The current step will be our current step variable, and the steps will be our list of steps. And the third one will be uh, the type. We can have a vertical stepper or a horizontal stepper. And now on each step tapped, we are going to write a function. So when we tap on each step, we are going to set the variable to the current step. So current step equal to step. And now the second callback method is on step continue. So when the user clicks on continue, we want to go to the next step, right? So for that, uh, we have to call set state and increment the uh, current step by one. So we have to check the boundaries as we're going to set it to zero. And the third callback is to cancel. So when the user clicks on cancel, we have to do the reverse. So we need to uh, decrement the counter. Okay, so decrement the step. Otherwise, set it to zero. So right now, we have the stepper in the UI. Let's change the vertical to horizontal. So the stepper is now horizontal. Okay. Change it back and now I'm going to change the text to a image. So I have an apple.png image in my images folder. So let's reload the app. Now we have the apple image. So you can have any widget there. You can have a text box and get the values from the user. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.